Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me a video that's uh, some of these new things that are called uh, video shorts. And the guy just has music playing and they, they got the concept down. This is how to make a monogram. Uh, pretty cool, pretty easy. I am going to put a link at the bottom of this video for a, a video I did a while back that actually will do this. It'll actually generate this a font like this. But this is kind of unique because you could make it your own. You could, you know, change things in it. So what I'm going to do, uh, he sent me what he'd done and sent me the video. And, but he's having problems after he does this. And I'm going to try to go through this real quick to make this, uh, I'm going to take the smart fill tool. And I am going to, I'm basically going to start, I'm trying to copy this exactly. So I'm going to start with the G. And so it's C, G, D. I'm just going to remember that because i got to zoom in. But you want to fill in every square and see there are squares. And then when we get to the round part, there's round, round parts. And the good thing about this, when you nudge out of the way, if you happen to miss something, uh, you can always, like, I missed that right there, maybe. No, I want it curved, so maybe not. I'm trying to mimic this exactly. Um, maybe one more. And what's so neat about this, you could, let's go ahead and do the top first. And if you mess up, you can just move your lines. And what I kind of like about it, you could have this as long as you want. And you really can't go to the outside, but you can go to the inside. But this isn't the problem he's having. So you could actually go like down to there. And it would be your font. And then you need to make sure you fill in all the little spots, um, you know, to make it look like right there. So it's a little bit tedious, but not that bad. And then let's, I'm going to do one other letter, and then I'm going to show them how to, uh, get around their problem, which I think, I think I've figured out what their problem is, because you're you've gotten, uh, well, the best way to well, let's just wait, and this is a little bit tedious going up this D. I would go through the bigger parts and come back and get the smaller parts, because you could zoom in, and this is pretty much just standard. Uh, Smart filling, and you almost got to zoom in a little bit sometimes to get it to work. So I'm just going to do two of the letters, and then here's what here's his problem. And one thing about it, you could keep that forever. So you need to I need to smart fill one more little spot, and I think we got it. I'm going to look down at the bottom real quick. Yep, see, two more little bitty spots to make it perfect. And then we're going to do a pretty good little trick, maybe one more little spot. And the good thing about it, once you nudge it over, you could still. So these are grouped together. So we can just nudge these lines out of the way. There must be some invisible lines in his drawing. You see, now we got all these black lines. So we need to take away the outline. And that, and I see, that, I see the part of the D I missed. Um, let's get these lines back. And this is what's so good about nudging. Um, there's two little bitty parts right in here I missed. Tell you what, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's group this whole thing together. Control G, that'll help us. And we must have just missed two little bitty parts right there. And because we've, and also I uh, realize in his file, he's filling in. I don't want any fill. So that was one of the problems. You know, while I'm here, I see two more little spots. So. You know, you wouldn't want to do this for the whole alphabet, but if you had it for just a glass. And because we've nudged, 
we regroup this, we can nudge it all out of the way. Now, if we take this and go to object and combine, it does some messy tricks. Not sure why, and that was his problem. So here's, here's what I would do. Of course, you'd want the other letter in there. But just take the smart field tool, take a rectangle, take the smart field tool. We'll do you something other than blue, so we're gonna go black. And I'm gonna nudge that over twice and then do the inside. Then take your smart field tool, set on whatever color you want, and fill in that gap. Now you don't have that. Now these are solid colors. They're not a bunch of a broken color. And the chance of having a line in there, you know, if we, uh, because we haven't grouped this together yet. Well, I'm grabbing the box. See, we got all these sections. Where here we don't. That's a one solid line. So the Smart Field tool will, does a lot of good in, in cases like this. Now I wish I would have taken the time to do the other letter, but this is my final result when I was kind of playing with it before. And I, I see I missed a couple of points there, right there. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit. Thank you for watching.